and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Echo. Going to be our first deck today. It's going to be a ranked deck. Then we're going to have two meme tier decks after this. We're kind of splitting today up, doing a little bit of rank, a little bit of meme tier here on this casual Friday. Good morning, Beecher guys. Good morning. Uh, so Zillion Echo is just, you know, pretty uh, popular deck, I guess, you know, like almost um a i guess it's a meta deck you know but it's not maybe necessarily a tier one meta deck but it's pretty good and it's definitely gotten improved with the uh with the upgrade to echo where echo now only needs to predict four times before echo levels up and so that's really easy to do and so it's really easy to level up echo and that's what makes echo really good because leveled up echo is really strong because you get those chrono breaks in your deck which is going to be one of our main win conditions Beatry rise with our resub, thank you, your eyes. <laughs> Got a little sub baby there for nine months. Thank you. Uh, and then, okay, all right, so we're making our chrono breaks, but then also like strike creating the zero cost time tricks. That's really powerful, right? Because you want time tricks, but you don't necessarily want to spend mana on them because your mana is always taxed in any deck. So getting zero mana cards is really nice. So leveled up echo really good. Um, as far as like in our opener, we do not want drop order, right? We want to be able to just see drop order in a prediction and summon it. And even though that's not really that powerful, right? Like you just get like a one three, that's not that powerful. The the thing that makes that good is it thins the deck. Um, because if you just get drop orders out of the deck for free, now you have less cards. And so now your predictions are, you know, so it's basically, it's essentially drawing a card. You can think of it like that. And so you have one less card in your deck. And so your predictions are more likely to hit your Hexite Crystals, your Time Bombs, your Chrono Breaks. Those are the cards that are really powerful. Those are the cards that we want to, to have. And uh, also because of that, we really want um, Fallen Feline and Zillion in our opener because we want to be able to create those Hexite Crystals, create those Time Bombs, and go and find those. So we're going to be mulligating hard looking for Fallen Feline and Zillion, and then predict a bunch, and uh, that's the deck. So let's get to it. Let's go play some Zillion Echo. No, no random champs today. I just have too many, uh, too many donation decks still to get to. We got three. We're playing all three viewer submitted donation decks today. Uh, we're doing one ranked here with the Zillion Echo, and then Viego Tom Kench and <laughs> Acolyte Ziggs, a ruinous Acolyte deck. Those are going to be our others uh, that we'll that we'll go ahead and play. So we got Jace Lux. Um, sending all those back. I guess we'll keep Ancient Preparations. Uh, it can help us find round two Zillion. Something we really want. Okay, so no Zillion, but I'm thinking about taking that Fallen Feline. It's either the Fallen Feline or just pass. I think we'll take the Fallen Feline, because we have another one mana Ancient Preparation, so next round we can go like Feline plus Preparations. Let me clear my throat. Da, 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 da. Zillion. Free drop orders. Go ahead and attack before they start getting their three threes in play. I guess we have to take Echo, right? Yeah, we gotta take Echo. The way is always the same. This is the new Gilded skin for Echo. Gilded Echo. Running around super fast. And then chilling at the party. So I would have. I'm playing Echo basically because we have the Scrying Sands. Um, Real good to see you. Getting that zero mana time trick. No, it does mean that Echo can die to a Mystic Shant. That'd be sad. Uh, 
I guess we pass. The Archivist is actually kind of nice. If like Archivist could hit Chrono Break or um, Hexite Crystal, I guess we pass though. You know, deja vu isn't what it used to be. I don't know. All right, cool. No removal for Echo. That's very good. Let's get our attack on. Scarper for us, smack you. We really want to find Chrono Break. Chrono Break. Hmm. I guess I could take Mystic Shot. No, it's, it's fast. Where are you at, Chrono Break? So we can take some more time bombs. What's up, Kay? I was waiting for you. Oh, what time means anything to you? Magic corrupts Demacia from within. Your Demacia is nothing like what I know. Chrono break. Yeah, still no Chrono break. Isn't what it used to be. Okay. Could be nice. Oh, wow. Uh, I guess that still kills. Yeah, the final spark will still let go. We did a lot of drawing and just couldn't find a chrono break to really help us out. But that's how it goes. Justice. You have no alibi. Tell me. I love that. Well, because this gets us the zero mana time trick. <clears throat> we'll figure that card's gonna die any you know, like it's gonna die anyway with this final spark, but let's get the zero mana time trick. Oh no break, finally. Finally. Shoot the fallen feline. Do it. Mm. All right, they're smart. They didn't shoot anything. So now at Chrono Break, they can shoot Echo, but then we rally and rallies are probably pretty good. Take five, down to three. Is that a single combat? It is. So four down to four. And time to turn into a burn deck. Kill the Lux before they do anything. Hey, what's up, Hexite Crystal? <laughs> You're gonna be useful for our burn deck. All right, that'll do. One and oh. GGs. What's up, Shaq? What's your uh, Shaq asks? What's your opinion on the meta, do you like it? I do. Yeah, I think it's um, it's still rounding into form of, you know, like what everybody, you know, like we, we still have, it's kind of a small meta right now, uh, but I don't think it necessarily would be like that way 
uh, in the long haul. But you know, lots. You know, you see a lot of the same decks of like Jay's decks, Gangplank, Sejuani, um, that kind of stuff. But I don't think that. Um, but I think it's a pretty healthy metagame. Like I don't think there's anything that's too dominant, and I don't think that those decks are like necessarily like holding um, other stuff back. Like Poppy Zed's actually probably. At least that's the. I don't. I guess. Saying it's the best is kind of. Um, like that, maybe that's not the right thing to say, but it's the deck that I'd be the scared of, scared of the most whenever I face it. Yeah, I think we have a healthy metagame that... It's just... I don't think, like, a metagame's, like, really necessarily a problem at all. Um, it's just that, like... I don't know, it's... The game... Like, it hasn't really changed too much in a while. We, since uh, the Poppy expansion, which seems like forever ago, we only really basically have like a handful of new Piltover and Zong cards with Jace. And so things haven't really changed too much in a, in a real long time. I don't think I want any of these. Haven't I, been here before? I could take like another Ancient Preparations and be able to double spell next round with Ancient Preparations plus Chronomancer. I guess we'll just lead with the Xenotype. Carefully, researchers. There's no You have to get me out of here. Please, I have connection. I'm kind of expecting that thing to block Zillion, but I guess not. Uh, so they're going to play something else first. Sounds going to be able to Mystic Shot. <clears throat> the Crack Shot Corsair. All right, we'll take five six. I've been practicing, and it's not perfect, but look. If your prediction is correct, we have much to look forward to. I think I'll just save spell mana here. Yeah, you don't want to cross. You got the diamond. That's all you see is Poppy Zed, Poppy Ziggs with Bandle Tree. That's. Um, I don't know, it sounds like he kind of has some bad luck then, because I, d you know, like, while those decks... Wait, why is this just sitting here? Because we don't have room for it? We can always can it just get, like, obliterated and leave the deck? Alright, so if you have no board space, it just sits there? That's too bad. I'd rather just get obliterated and leave the deck. Um, it sounds like you're kind of unlucky of, of if you say that, like, that's all you see is just those two, is just poppy decks. Um... I'd say I'll probably play against, I don't know, maybe 20% Poppy, like, if you combine the different Poppy decks, maybe one out of five games. Maybe. It's a little high. Ever consider a henching career? You see a lot of dragons? I see a lot of this deck game playing Sejuani. Play against this quite a bit. Okay, so it's still only four out of five. Kind of want a Mystic Shot. No, we should just hold on to Mystic Shot. Yeah, because they're going to do this and level up Gangplank. Pretty close to killing them. I don't know what to do. They're at eight. The attack's gonna do one to all enemies in the enemy nexus. Nothing's more exciting than an unsolved mystery. Explosives. It's either you know Mystic Shot or Time Bomb. Um, Mystic Shot does one additional Nexus damage, but Time Bomb does draw a card and does Nexus damage and like this other damage. I'm not sure which one to take. 
Because I'm pretty close, you know, like, we're pretty close to burning them out right now with triple Mystic Shot. Okay, chat saying probably Mystic. Alright, let's take the Mystic. Because, yeah, we are drawing a second card with the Preservarium already. I can also play this Preservarium and then draw another one. Or we pass. Let's see, we're going to have seven, eight, nine mana next round if I pass. I think we can just go ahead and play this. I always like doing these one by one. I never like just like throwing everything out there and then like letting them respond. I always like doing it one by one. All right, triple Mystic Shot gets it done. We two and oh. GG's. All right, Poppy Ziggs, Bandle Tree. I don't think we have any landmark removal. I don't believe. So we'll get rid of the threes. We're keeping Chronomancer, Mystic Shots. We can get rid of Mystic Shot. It doesn't. Mystic Shot is a good removal soul, but doesn't kill either champion. It doesn't kill like their two drop that has surprise, um, surprise. impact. I will take Thermogenic Beam. That kills the champions. Especially Poppy. Even though I guess they did represent another um, predict card, and maybe I should have taken the the one the ancient preparations because we could play ancient preparations. That's three out of four for Echo, and then we could still thermo beam for three. I think I just pass because I I kind of have everything that they have in check. I just don't want to get ruined by a poppy. So I should I should have taken that ancient preparations. We're in a good spot for ancient preparations. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. I want a second echo. Second echo doesn't sound so bad. I have my orders. Don't touch that. These are my streets. Okay. Yeah, we need one more predict to level up Echo. Imagine they kill the 3-1. Nope. I imagine incor incorrectly. The question's going to be... Let's get rid of this thing. 
Which is going to be if we want to just open attack or if we want to play the Echo first before attacking. Because you know, the Echo allows them to play another blocker. But we want Echo in play. I think we get Echo in play. Can you get my Time, Sage? Mm, this is a joke. Ugh, that's a good blocker. Turn it like so. That's a really good blocker. All right, well, that did not go super well. Oh, I guess I should have played that before the buff caps. Um... Yeah, it's a pretty big cat. Where was I? Did somebody say explosives? Throw him away! Real good to see you. One for you, and one for you! We're gonna hopefully find these chrono breaks. I love it when things converge like that. Echo? Just drawing a lot more cards is not good for these puff caps. That but that's just kinda how it is. High five, yeah. Yeah, we gotta pray no decimate. Um Hope, like, maybe no blocker. Like, maybe they only had, like, a one health blocker. They would die to a time bomb anyway. Maybe no blocker. So, eight puts him down to three. We're going to play this other fallen feline first for the additional Hexite Crystal. In the deck before we time trick. Gotcha, little guy. Could have sworn he said something. Do that. Time tricks, time bombs. Or so sorry. Uh Hexite Crystals, time bombs. Climb back. I don't know why. I guess we want to predict again, right? Because we want to find those Hexite Crystals. Those aren't hexite crystals. Did I freeze time again? Okay. Love it. Love it. And then countdown. Boom. Three no. Time is a teacher to us all. GG's. <laughs> we have been a Mystic Shot Burn deck. Oh man, this is a great Hexite Crystal matchup. Come on, Fallen Feed Line. Fallen Feed Line. Go away, go away, go away. Oh no, not the drop order. I guess I maybe should have kept... I probably should have kept the 3-mana 4-2 to predict. Because the 4-2 can also block uh, Fearsome. I probably should have kept that card. Good. And that card's not Fearsome. I get to block that. All right, I'm going to pass here. Yeah. Well, 
No, so we just open attack. Okay. Because I kind of want to save that spell mana, you know, for time trick. I guess we're just going to open attack here. We'll fix you right up. And then probably to save my three spell mana right now. Oh gosh. How are we drawing the drop orders? Alright, so we can play a drop order. Now we still have two spell mana for Echo. We want to be able to play Echo, be able to block, get a time trick. see taking another Ancient Preparations here, right? So, like, we want to level up the Echo. Um, and it's like, yeah, I could see doing that. Like, this round we go, like, Preservarium into another Insect Crystal. Or we just shoot this thing for four, so it dies to Hexite Crystal. Now they played that big thing. We're seeing salvage in this deck too much, but salvage is pretty cool. I want to do this right away. Um, you know, get rid of those things. So like, if they want to attack, they have to attack with this thing, and then we get a good block. So they can't just like only attack with the thing that was going to kill with Hexite Crystal anyway. Also worried about like any kind of pump spell like a um you know like the plus two plus zero on that that big guy and then you know also hit lurk and then it's you know eight power and then has uh, what's up uh, yeah then we can't kill it all that kind of stuff oh i should have grabbed that quicksand Good call. I'm sorry. I was I was only thinking about leveling up Echo and stuff like that. But yeah, you're right. We should grab that quicksand so the Rexai doesn't have overwhelm, and also the exit the it doesn't level up. Yeah, it's a good call. Good call. All right, I will go back and look for it again. I think I was trying. I think we do this with the Chronomancer. here. My bad. Okay, so that just gets rid of that thing that had vulnerable, which is good. You know, deja vu isn't what it used to be. All right, looking for quicksand. Should have taken it the first time. Mystic shot. Or pass. So Mystic Shot gives us... Yeah, because, I mean, we're at 20. 20 is healthy. Maybe we'll just take a backup Echo. And, like, block this thing with this Echo. We Thermogenic Beam a big Rek'Sai. Let's we'll take a backup Echo. We're drawing two. You know, with this Preservarium. I think we're okay.
Spying Sand's cool. That's good against Rek'Sai. There's Quicksand. Yeah, Echo's the top of our curve. And we can let this Echo die. We got backup Echo. Gross. Okay, they're tapped out. Sorry. So we can Thermogenic Beam the Pike and just kill it. Maybe that's the way to go. Or I could, you know, I could quicksand the Pike whenever it challenges, assuming, cha you know, it challenges Echo and then they trade. Um, that's probably not the way to go. This is probably the way to go. So they should have the Rek'Sai challenge there. Cool. We're still at 13. If only I still had three mana. Just out of reach. We definitely want another Hexite Crystal in the deck. So it looks like that's what they just hit. Because uh, they missed Lurk. They could. You never know. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think we're going to be winning this. I'll be surprised if we lose, but don't want to count it before it happens. Wow. I guess they are at six. Pretty practical. Maybe I should just be taking the Mystic Shot. No, that's. I was thinking like you know when to play the time tricks. No, I should have waited. Yeah, because I because they yeah that, that puts another Hexite Crystal and I should have waited to play the time tricks. Yeah, leveled up Echo is absurd, and Chrono Break is absurd, and so like that, them changing it so Echo levels up a lot easier definitely made the card better. And that's going to be a 4 and O G and G. 5 win dream still attainable. Now a real test. Poppy Z attack super fast. This is going to be kind of a test of luck of, you know, finding time bombs and hexite crystals and stuff. This hand's really good, though. This hand is really good. You know, like, Thermogenic Beam, Mystic Shot, really good at, against their champions and against some of their smaller things. Obviously, Zillion's, like, one of the best cards. The Chronomancer can just help us find time bombs. I think we keep Chronomancer. I don't think we mulligan anything here. Chronomancer would be, like, the one card that we could maybe mulligan. I think we just keep it all, though. Let's do it. We can have the round one ancient preparations. Gas. I can see like leaving that though. I don't know. Quietly. The crystal. Down from the trees. I'll get that and play first.
Uh, yeah. I think we can take another... Take another feline. Haven't I been here before? Pledge yourself to the shadows. Yeah, do we attack with everything first? Thermo afterwards? Okay, attack first. Looking for this? This one's trouble. Wow. That wasn't a block I was expecting. You think it's Mystic? So the thing is, like, Mystic's better against an open attack, right? Like, if they open attack. Them damaging the Zillion means that, like, I, you know, I can't really block that too well. I think I'm going to go Thermo. Wow! That was unexpected. Hang on, Buzzball. Kind of feel like they got another... Zed. No? Well, maybe not. I was going to say that maybe they had just another Zed. They didn't mind that one dying. They'll never see me coming. I guess we won't see you coming. I don't know. They'll never see us coming. Yeah, you're all about that never see you coming thing. Let's time trick. I want to find those two hexite crystals we put in there. If your prediction is correct, we have much to look forward to. I was scared of Mystic Shot, the duo, and then they use their sharp side, and then I take two more damage. Just going to go ahead and do this attack before they have the information of what my hand could look like. So they're down to five. Dang. I kind of think it's Time Bomb. Because that hurts their Nexus and can kill the Green Glade duo. Both. Which one do we shoot? The Green Glade duo is guaranteed four damage. The Zed we can just block block. So we'll shoot the elusive, because the Zed we can just block block. They won't suffer long. These are my streets. Yes, they did fix the bug with um, with Relentless Pursuit. Still have two Hexite Crystals in the deck we haven't seen. Kind of like this against this Zed. Oh, I don't get to draw that quicksand. So proactively doing that, so then, you know, they're both going to be one power, so now they have to, like, proactively use a pump spell if they want to be able to attack, and if they do that, then they don't get to rally anymore. <laughs> you do that all the time with predictive, like, ooh, that card would be great right now, I'll, t I'll choose that, and then it's, like, on top of the deck, and you're like, oh, no. Because, yeah, I used to, like, time tricking. I don't know. I guess we just kind of let this happen. Why are we blocking the shadow? Just to save a life. It's not like that. There's no difference between that thing being a 2-2 two -two or a 2-1. Awesome. 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 
That's going to be a five and oh, Zillion Echo. Five and oh, Zillion Echo. All right, so there we go. So that was Zillion Echo. Definitely felt really good. You have lots of decisions to make. I love how low the curve is, right? So many, you know, so what do we have here? 26, 28, 28 cards cost one or two mana. So that's like 70% of the deck <laughs> costs one or two mana. Um, or, you know, like that's, that's crazy. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. And, uh, you know, ec levels up Echo super fast. You have all of the cards you get to go look for. I'd just say, like with the with the deck, I just wasn't impressed at all with Station Archivist. Just didn't really care about Station Archivist at all. Um, it can, I guess, get find like a Time Trick or a Mystic Shot or a um, Hexite Crystal or something like that. But didn't really like it. I think I would prefer to have the third Practical Perfectionist over it because I think I'd rather just have that other Predict in here. Um, I, you know, at least go like three and one instead of two and two. And then, you know, maybe even just like the third quicksand instead of this archivist or, you know, maybe keep one copy. Um, you know, that, that, that was the card that I wasn't really, uh, impressed with, but I, I would want, want that perfectionist. Cause there's, there's a couple of times like where I had the archivist in hand and I wanted it to be a perfectionist cause I wanted to look for time bombs, level up echo, all of that. Um, but besides that, it was good. Very, very good. You know, all these low cost cards liked it quite a bit. All right, so that's going to be it for Zillion Echo. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully, y'all were enjoying the games. And, uh, you know, it was a very good list for sure. This was submitted by Aroas. Thank you, Aroas, for this very good list. And, um, you know, it did really well. So give it a try yourself. Let me know how it goes over there on YouTube. But that's going to be it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next one.